tits. Hold up, guys. So, we are on our way to Timberlake Road, and it's a road that everyone in my area knows about because it's famous for being haunted. And I'm with Sean and Katie. What What is it that exactly is tied in with this road? Like, what are the, all the stuff that they say happens? There's so many stories. Yeah, I've heard so many different things. Like the... Hellhounds. I never heard the hellhound thing, but I heard about the, the, uh, the bitch the, I have your baby thing. Uh, the hellhounds and then there was the, the car where you could see the headlights, but no body. That's creepy. Yeah, I just knew about the bitch I have your baby thing. What happened is she went into town. Um, everybody in her house was sick. Supposedly, she got back home. It was blizzarding and whatever. And supposedly, she got back home and her husband and all of her kids were murdered. And there was a note in the baby's crib that said, bitch, I got your baby. Apparently, she hung herself in a tree. Either she hung herself or the guy hung her. But as she was dying, he kept saying, bitch, I got your baby, bitch, I got your baby. But see, there's like 20 different ways that story goes, so. Yeah. So we're going to go out and, and see if we can see some spooks out there. I mean, I don't plan to aggravate anything, but I mean, if we see something, we see oh, something. But it could be fun. It's, it's gonna be fun. This is so appropriate for October. <laughs> and I mean, like, you know, the veil is thinning, so I mean, I feel like there's a better chance now that to see something than any other time of the year. Where is the cemetery at? Like, close by or? Yeah, it's right. And she's buried there? Supposedly, I don't know. She's in an unmarked grave, they say. Oh? They, they moved her. I, people kept digging her up. I don't know why, but I've always just never been very bothered by cemeteries. So, I mean, if you guys are down, I don't mind getting and taking a look around. Yes? No? Maybe so? Yeah. Okay. We're getting super close to the road, y'all. Right here. Oh, shit. Almost dead, dead. Oh, oh, now we're in a horror movie. <laughs> Pretty much. So... Why does she haunt the road, though? Looking for the killer. Oh. Kidnapper, whatever. Or whatever. Kidnapper and Did they ever say what happened to the baby? Nope. It's like 1307, isn't it? Uh, I don't remember. 1311, the house number? I don't remember, but I'll see it. Not when I see it. No, the house is like a mile down the road. Yeah. We used to drive halfway down the driveway so they wouldn't notice us, like with our lights off, but yeah. we stopped chancing it because we didn't want to get shot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, after they uh, put a bullet hole almost all the way through my van, I was like, that's it, I'm done. Oh, to explain that real quick because I don't think we said that on camera. Apparently, the people that lived in the house that the lady died in. I guess they shoot at people if <laughs> they come on the property. That's what we're talking about. That leaf just scared the shit out of me. Whoa. Ooh, it's steep over here. Uh -huh. It is, and I'm Ooh. like on the brakes and I'm getting pushed. Uh. Okay. Shit, it's like, Jesus, it's Ooh. steep. Yeah, it is. My brakes are going oh, to hell. Oh, should I look behind us quick? Sure. Oh, I don't see nothing back there. Oh, the window's kind of fogged back there. That's probably why. I was like, if I look back and there's a bitch standing there, I'm going to fucking freak out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't blind at me. We 
we all look up and she's standing in front of I would promptly She used to, I can't myself. remember what it was. If you uh, turn your car off and park downhill, then um, all of a sudden she shows up in your windshield or some shit. In the driveway. Yeah. Ooh. That's scary. There's, it sucks that there's so many different things because it's like, well, what do we do? <laughs> A female virgin has to shout, bitch, I got your baby, and she won't hear. Oh, well, good luck with that. The problem is, is the car won't start when you do that. I have a battery charger in the back. That's scary. It's not the battery. It's just that it just something she does makes it die. Well, that's the spirit taking energy from things, assuming it's true. I have yet to see that happen. But. Yeah. Well, There's supposedly a thing where if you put baby powder on the car too, you'll see handprints. But ooh. That actually is true. Sam and I did that one day, and we got back home and we didn't see nothing. And we were like, ah, fuck it. Get out there the next day, and there was little baby handprints and footprints all over my car. Oh. That'd be spooky. But I think that one we have to go into the driveway too, and we can anymore. Right? Yeah, I think so. These leaves keep startling me. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I that, wanted my parking lights. That scared me. I didn't know you were going to do that. Now is it creepy? Oh, it, was, it was creepy before. What are you talking about? <laughs> now my camera can't see shit. <laughs> the dead don't bother me. It's the living. red eyes and be hellhound. I heard something wrestling out there. We gotta take her to Terrace Lawn. But what's right. the what's what's the hellhounds now? I have no idea. Hellhound I think the story behind Hellhounds is there where people have died. They oh. like they're like mystical protector type shit. Yeah. There's a section of this road, supposedly, I can't remember where, but, um, you park uphill and you put your, or you go uphill and you put your vehicle in neutral, and you let off the gas and the brake, and, um, you'll continue to go uphill, you come to a complete stop, and put your car in neutral, and theory of motion is that you fall downhill. But the vehicle will move back uphill. They say it's the soles of the dam pushing you. Oh. Because they want to help you get away from this place. thing back there I thought it was a fucking eye. I was like bro <laughs> this way. I didn't record this time because I just, I don't know, I just figured not 
gonna do it twice. But me and Sean were were talking, and she, yeah. But I didn't say hello. <laughs> I didn't either. It sounded like almost like Sean's mom or some shit. Just like hello, like he butt dialed her. What does it sound like? Check your phone. <laughs> Check your phone. I have no service on either phone. I just had a or seen a dead bird. very weird we're gonna be heading over to the cemetery right after this but that's interesting that you heard that I didn't I didn't catch it I was too busy talking to Sean <laughs> and like looking around like I'm a little more observant this time since I wasn't recording so I'm like I'm looking around like looking to see anything I did see some rustling around out there but that's probably just animals well that's windy too that too Chugga 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 toot toot. Did you feel that? Yeah. I didn't do that. I felt that. I thought you did that. That jerk? Yeah, that jerk. I didn't do that. Oh. That's weird. I could have <gasps> swore. I was like, oh, she's really hitting the gas there. That creeped me out. I, I didn't do that. I think I'm going to keep the recording on now. Do you think that was the part of the hill, or did they push you up? I think so, yeah, that's the part right there. Aww. Oh, man. Scared the shit out of me. I thought yeah. something was going on with the van. What the hell? Mm. <gasps> what? I'm just, like, pulling to one side. Oh. That's the road. Well, yeah, but it curves this way. You'd think it'd pull you that way, but it was pulling me this way. Yeah, because of the way the road is. What the fuck? Cross. Okay, and oh, you want to do the drum beats first before yeah. the cemetery? Okay. Yeah. The what? If you go down the other road on the other side, you hear drum beats, Indian drum beats. Oh. So we'll do that before we go to the cemetery. Oh, okay. The sad part is, is you can't catch it on video or audio. I've tried. Well, I will try it even. <laughs> it's so faint. You you can't hear. You can barely hear it yourself. Do you remember how far down you hear the drum beats? Yeah, it should be just up here. Are you on the break? Yes. Why are we rolling backwards? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, fuck that. Okay, yep. Nope. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I love that. I'm done. <laughs> nope. Fuck this shit up. I'm out. <laughs> you seen my brake lights? Mm hmm. Oh. That was fucked up. Pull up and back off. No, this is <laughs> place. Oh, okay. Right a little bit. Yeah. Guy must be back. We give him shotgun holes. What? We give him the holes in the stop sign. Oh. Oh. The same that crazy guy must be back. Okay, so getting out of the van would be a bad idea right now. Okay. Just pull up there. I'm not getting out if he's back. Fuck that shit. I value my life too much. This shit's creepy. That guy was a bit. See if you wanted to switch spots. Uh, no, but why are we rolling backwards again? I don't know. I don't know how to get out of here. Flip a Yui up here in that clearing. Okay. It should be muddy, so. Yeah, I thought maybe there'd be. I said, hmm, because I thought there's gonna be like a path that we could walk because I don't want to accidentally walk on any graves. I'm gonna 
hit a grave. Sorry. 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 <laughs> Oh no, that's a tree. Okay. I don't mean to alarm anyone. Yes. But I thought I just saw a man standing by the woods. Okay. Let's go. So, yeah. yeah. I think I did too. Yeah, because it was right as we're turning and I like happened to they look took out. They the fence down. I'm going. We were going to get out, so. I'm getting the fuck we're out not, We're not doing that no more. <laughs> Bad juju. Ooh. Bad juju. <laughs> Listen to your gut. Don't do things for videos. That was Timberlake Road. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a spooky October. I know we are. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Little rainbow. <laughs>
Sean was able to see it for a second. He's like, I don't know what that is. He's like, it's not a deer though. <laughs> and it followed us for a really long ways, to be honest. And we were freaking out because we could not get this thing to go away. I had said, well, I had recorded this part, but my the storage cut it off, I guess. I had told the spirits to leave because like, you know, just in case there was something still in the car with us and I told them to leave. That's right when my storage ran out. And then that was when all the other stuff started happening and this thing was following us for a really long time. And then right before we got to town, I noticed it stopped like in the middle of the road. And we pulled into town and I saw what looked like a white German Shepherd. And that was when Sean told me about that there's, I guess, a protective spirit that shows itself in the form of a white German Shepherd. So I think that whatever was following us stopped because of that protective spirit. I know that some of y'all don't believe in this stuff. That's totally fine. Like, you know, you're entitled to your beliefs, but if you're going to comment something, I ask that you please be respectful. But yeah, so this is really interesting. You could tell though, something, something was going on. Something was going on out there. Like, there's just a vibe out there. Like, there was a lot of stuff happening, and there was just a lot of, like, like things happening with the car. Like, the car was messing up a lot, and it was very scary, and I don't know. The vibe out there, you could just tell that there had been stuff going on out there. I might talk to Sean about seeing what we could do, like, what we could look up about that place, because I just have a feeling something happened out there. So I hope you enjoyed this little ghost hunting adventure, and I'll see you guys Sunday. Bye, my little rainbows. Mwah.